Hey, so I got some new lighting. Very happy with it. I just had to change out the types of bulbs I was using. But anyway, so I want to share this recipe. So there's a woman, I'm going to grab the book actually, um, called Carlise. I think it's Carlise because there's two S's. And she wrote this book. Cook with me. And she has a YouTube channel. And um, I noticed that I didn't really see this recipe on the channel. So I was like, oh, I can film it. I've made this before and it was great. And it's actually her cornbread recipe. I've only made a few modifications. So um, I don't use a skillet. So I don't need... In her recipe, she talks about using four tablespoons of oil. I don't because I'm not using a skillet. Um, I'm using just a 9 by 13 pan. I'm actually making two of these, but I just want to show you this one right now and then um we'll get into it so the oven's preheated to 375 one time I made a mistake of putting it to 350 then I just switch it back whatever so I'm going to show you the wet ingredients first because um the butter she said to soften it the, it's one stick of butter but I didn't have time I just didn't so this is one stick of butter and that's going to go into two cups of milk it's whole milk and then I'll melt another stick in a I'm going to set another stick to milk because remember I said I'm making two. So I'm going to go set a second stick of butter to melt. And I want that butter to cool down a little bit and it'll form uh, chunks. There you go. I'll go put that on in a second. The other wet ingredient is eggs. Three eggs beaten. And then for the dry, you're going to need, uh, here's a half cup of sugar, cup and a half of white flour, cup and a half of cornmeal, two tablespoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using the Black & Decker mixer again. I really love it. And I need, let me grab that out of the sink that I just used. I'm gonna, um, yeah, the butter's fine now. It's just, I always worry about the butter uh, messing up the eggs. So, gonna pour the butter. I mean, quarter pour the eggs into the butter mixture, into the butter and uh, milk mixture, and mix those. And then you want to make sure it's mixed so that it doesn't get um, the eggs don't scramble. Nobody wants that. Great. So now, pretty easily, I'm going to pour. I'm going to turn this. I'm going to plug this in. <laughs> I'm going to plug. Oh, I also need a spray. I'm going to spray the. I'm not putting since I'm not putting oil in a skillet. I'm going to spray that. Um. 9 by 13 I'm gonna pour this in and then uh, once it's mixed I'll bring you right back so there it is poured and ready to go but I forgot to mention to whisk everything had a weird issue just occur with the uh, baking powder so this is the second batch that I told you I had already made on the side uh, I'm making two at once but yeah make sure you whisk everything because I had a yeah that was weird I mean it's not bad it won't have a too much of an adverse effect on the stuff but just letting you know, so there's the second cup of milk right here. This butter is pretty much uh, melted. So, yeah, you need to get the second batch ready. Put them both in the oven for, let me just make sure I have the time right, for 30 minutes. And then we will be back in 30 minutes. And here are the twins, fraternal, not identical as you can tell. So I just took these out, so this is probably, okay, grabbing it was still a bad idea. So make sure you pre-mix the dry stuff. I completely forgot. But it'll still come out fine. It'll just come out a little bit flat because what happens is the AA acting baking powder reacts to wet and to heat. So the issue is that it was reacting to um, the um, the wet a little bit too much because it was all crowded together when you mix it all together it reacts a little bit slowly it rises slower and this was a thicker batter going in slightly thicker and see how it rose this one kind of um to the opposite it kind of stayed uh flat because most of the foaming happened before i put it in the oven so but if you forget just whisk it really quick and then throw it in the oven so that it can start to like puff up and whatever so i hope you enjoyed this recipe i hope you enjoyed this new uh these new lights i got i'm very happy with them and i will see you in the next video